I was so excited to join this uh, season as a coach on The Voice uh, because I feel like, you know, after 17 seasons, uh, some fresh some fresh blood in there might help shake things up. Uh, and just coming up with a new perspective and, and being able to work with these artists kind of on the ground floor is something I'm most excited about. And the times that I've mentored before for the show, uh, I always left feeling inspired myself and wanted to go and, and work that much harder. And uh, I'm excited to bring what I can to, to Team Nick. My coaching style uh, is still kind of coming together. I think I'm learning on the go, which has been uh, a really fun process. Uh, but, you know, I've tried to approach it that I'm, I'm a teammate for them. Uh, as, as much as I'm going to coach them and give them advice and help them along the way, I want them to feel comfortable to, to be vulnerable, you know, to, to, to feel that pressure, which is real, because all that can be used for good in the performance and actually to get up there and, and do your best. And, um, you know, I've got experience from, from my early days on Broadway, uh, my career with my brothers, songwriting career and film career, that I can use all those different aspects to, to give some real perspective, kind of a, a 360 view of what it means to be an artist. This season is so exciting overall. You know, you've, you've got Kelly back, John, Blake, myself. Um, already our, our chemistry is, is uh, coming together and, and um, I'm having fun on set and, and I think people are gonna have fun watching at home. But you've got some amazing talent this year. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm always blown away by, by the level, the caliber of talent uh, on this show, but I feel like this year is one of the best, if not the best. And uh, I think audiences at home are gonna be really blown away by uh, season 18 of The Voice. My strategy when I'm picking team members is about trying to just get hit right between the eyes with, with that voice that stands out. You know, the, the beauty of this show is that the blind auditions are truly blind auditions and you don't know what the person looks like, uh, you don't know their story. All you hear is that voice and if you really just sit there and listen to it, uh, it'll, it'll lead your hand to that button or not. Um, and I think I've assembled a really strong team of people that really blew me away in a 90 second blind audition. I'm listening for a story in their voice, you know, I, 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 unfortunately we don't get that set up story before they sing, but sometimes you can hear it in the voice, you know, that true artistry of someone that, that uses their life and all their experiences and, and channels that during the performance. And I think, you know, the fact that uh, I'm a singer and an actor, I do that often, you know, I take some of my, my character work and put it into uh, my singing and vice versa, I'm a songwriting front. Um, and so I'm, I'm really excited to, to just hear those voices that tell a story from the minute you hear them. Three other coaches are really phenomenal. They've obviously been doing this for a little while now. Uh, Blake, having been doing this since the, the beginning, um, has that real perspective and he kind of knows exactly what to say uh, to get the artist. And then from there, you know, he's got a lot of heart. I think he, he genuinely cares about the artists that he works with and even the artists that he doesn't work with that he maybe wanted to. Uh, and he wants to see these people succeed and also have fun in the process in the same way that he clearly has a lot of fun. Uh, Kelly is amazing. She's a ball of energy um, and, you know, as an admirer of hers for a long time, uh, having watched her uh, for, for many years and, and, and loved her work, uh, it's surreal to be sitting next to her and, and to just hear her perspective. You know, her, her vocal technique, uh, her advice is really, I, I think, phenomenal. And, and she's obviously got uh, the training and the years of experience to be able to really speak to um, the importance of technique as a vocalist. Uh, and John is a legend, obviously, um, and, you know, it's, it's amazing to be sitting next to him and, and um, you know, he's competitive as well. You can tell he's, he's deeply competitive when it comes to this competition. I think the fact that he's won a few times now uh, has him a little confident uh, going into this season, but we'll see what happens. I knew pretty early on. I, th I think I, you know, I was singing before uh, I could even talk, um, so performing and and singing and writing music was just a natural fit and I'm not really good at anything else so I, I pretty much had to stick to this and thankfully it worked out and people believed in me along the way uh, but you know I, I, I love this and, and and I find that I even now you know 16 17 years into my professional music career I'm still learning something every day and that's the, the, the value of doing this show at this moment in my life and my career is that uh, it's another chance to, to throw myself into a world that I've never been in before and just grow and learn in the same way that all these artists will um, um, with their time on the show. 
I think I'm hoping to gain uh, some some perspective, some inspiration. You know, I, I think if I had done a show like The Voice, uh, it wouldn't have worked out well for me. You know, I, I was fortunate to have a career where uh, I had a lot of ups and downs and, and people along the way that helped me get better. Uh, so if I can compile all that advice that I had over my, you know, many years of doing this now and, and help somebody along the way uh, in what is kind of a, a tough setting, you know, a competition like this, uh, it's a lot of pressure and you only get really that one shot. Um, so it's, it's, it's so important to show up prepared and, and kind of have all your ducks in a row and, and hopefully I can, I can help in that way. And I think what I'm hoping to take away is just the experience of, of uh, you know, watching someone truly grow and, and get better along the way. And if I have something to do with that, that'd be great. Uh, if, if, it's, if it's not, then, then uh, best, best of luck to them. I think after so many seasons, uh, the reason this is America's favorite singing competition is because uh, it truly has a lot of heart. And you get to watch two people, you know, the coach and the artist, work together uh, in, in a way that you, you really don't see on any other show. The pressure is actually taken off by the coaches and not applied by the coaches, which is a really nice uh, angle and something that I think people enjoy seeing. You know, they, they love to watch people working together to get better, and um, The Voice does that. And along the way, it's also, you know, very funny. There's lots of fun, and, and the banter between the coaches is kind of magical when it gets going, and, and uh, not something that really exists anywhere else on TV. Season 18 of The Voice is, is chaos, because uh, we've, we've added a, a coach who's kind of, uh, I think uh, taking us all a little bit off guard. Uh, Nick Jonas has come in and, and he's got this aura about him and, and he's kind of a he's kind of a quiet guy but he's a but he's a killer in, in the blinds and, and uh, it makes the it completely changes the competition into a different dynamic. You know my initial thought when I heard that Nick was going to be joining us as, as a coach I knew he would be great at it because I mean here's a guy who's who's basically grown up in the spotlight and and he's had uh, you know success as a band he's had success as a solo artist as uh, basically somebody who's been in the public eye at a high level for a long time and 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 that's what you that's what you look for in a coach I think when you when you audition for this show is somebody who's had a ton of experience at a lot of different things who's seen a lot of different things that can happen in this business and and I think he brings uh, probably as much experience to the table as as anybody and he's still basically just a kid himself I don't know how they do it this is uh, season 18 and and the level of talent that continues to audition for this show they continue to come out of the woodwork and uh, it just blows me away uh, that these artists are undiscovered. And thank God they give us the chance here. You know, as always, I'm, I'm always on the lookout for a great country singer, but uh, I don't always find that in these blind auditions. And, and, uh, and so uh, at the end of the day, all I really do is just hit my button for anybody that I think is great or or that I can imagine hearing on the radio or even more imagine, uh, you know, that they have the kind of voice and, and style that could win this show. You know, you can't really listen for anything other than talent whenever uh, you're sitting in these blind auditions because you can't see the person. You don't know, uh, you know, what they have going on there, whether they're a dork or they're the coolest looking person in the world or or ugly or beautiful you have no idea what's going on back there behind you a lot of times you don't even know if it's a guy or a girl so uh, that's what makes this show so great is because it's it begins with somebody's talent you know the vibe for this season has been uh, it's been a lot of fun because uh, we're, we're trying to figure out nick and and what his angle is going to be and and should we jump in there with him? Is it is he is he beatable as a coach? I mean, we're we're learning all this stuff, uh, you know, as we go, and you'll see that in the blind auditions, and, and I think it makes for a lot of fun. You know, Kelly's still up to her old tricks. I think uh, the artists who audition for this show, who watch the show, uh, they're kind of on to her though. She has a little tougher time this season getting people on her team than she's ever had before. In fact. Uh, there was a day or two she was starting to get depressed, which made me very happy. 
And John, as always, I mean, I don't know what it is about that guy. He never really has to compete that hard to get people on his team. But with Nick here, he gets humbled a few times. I'm a coach on this show uh, to get a chance to, you know, continue to learn for my own craft. Uh, but at the end of the day, I want to win this thing. I want to see the, one of the artists that I work with win that trophy. That's that's what they pay me to do, and that's and that's the job that I take serious. You know, there's no question about uh, why this is America's favorite singing competition. It's because it's based on somebody's voice. It's called the voice for a reason, and it all begins with the talent somebody has and with how great or not great their voice is. And based on that, and that alone, is why they make it onto this show. We've got Nick Jonas this season, and I'm pretty, I'm excited and not excited because I know we're going to turn for the same people, but he's super talented and kind of a breath of fresh air, so I'm excited about it. Season 18 is pretty exciting because, well, one, Nick Jonas is here, and it's kind of, a, we've never had anybody that young come on, and so it's kind of been fun with all the talent, you know, that season 18, like, who they're going to go with. It literally, I think this is the season that has shocked us the most of where people landed. We think they're going to go somewhere, and then they totally picked a different coach, so this is the most, like, shocking season of who lands where. This season... There, I have been begging for a couple genres to enter this show and since I've been here. And this season, somebody came out singing some opera, and I was very excited. You know, every season, I feel like such a, you know, broken record, but I always just want versatility. I mean, I think that that's what we need with art. You don't want the same thing over and over again. So um, I always want a variety. And if I hear someone that I love, and I already have people on my team that are kind of that vibe, and, you know, they're kind of a similar, you know, level of good. So I, I don't turn because I want to make sure I get a lot of different variety on my team. John is so annoyingly good at this. <laughs> Obviously, Blake is too. He's won more than anybody. <laughs> but it's, John is like, ugh. Anytime he turns, you know, I mean, you just have to come with everything possible to beat him, to win people on your team. Because he's John Legend. It's in the name, people. You know, Blake, there's a reason why he's been around since the beginning and he's still here because he's super charming. He does care about his artists. He helps them afterwards. I mean, he's a threat, obviously, to all of us. Um, the only reason why I'm not as threatened by him this season is because all the other, you know, the other ones are joining with me to go against him. So, you know, use that block. <laughs> You know, I personally hope to gain out of this season of The Voice. I have a couple artists on my team that I've never had that kind of vibe on my team before. So I am pretty excited about just showcasing all there is to, to singers. Like, you know, there, we have a lot of different genres of music going around, right? And we don't always get to showcase all those genres on the show, depending on who, you know, the crop of talent that season. So um, this season, it's very, there's a wide array of everything going on. I think people love this show and the reason why it's been around so long and been it's the number one show like every time is because people love to be a part of it. They love to be a part of the process. They love the blinds because it kind of brings back to, you know, video, video killing the radio star. It's just, you're just listening. You're just enjoying the sound of, of what you should be doing with music. And so it kind of brings it back to the fundamentals and the basics of, of being a singer. And I think people are really into that. They love, they love being a part of it. And if the people are going to turn and, you know, I know people that tell me they close their eyes at home and they listen and <laughs> see if they're going to, you know, if they would turn their chair. So it's, it's exciting for everybody. It's an exciting new season of The Voice. We have a new coach, Nick Jonas. We're trying to show him the ropes without letting him defeat us. So it's interesting. We're training him, but not too well. I remember what it's like to be the new guy, and um, now I'm not the new guy anymore. So it'll be interesting to see how Nick does. I love Nick as a person, as an artist. I just feel like he's just a really good human being and he's a really talented artist. And uh, I felt like him being on the show would be really cool for the show. Plus he has a lot of fans out there, so uh, that can't hurt. 
season 18 really has an interesting group of artists. I feel like more of them are singer-songwriter types. A lot of them play their own instrument. And uh, I think that's really exciting for me. I'm excited to work with some of those artists on my team. You know, I just listen. Um, that's all we can do. Uh, we're blind to uh, their audition. We don't know what they look like. All we do is listen and try to uh, hear special voices. And the, the voices that I find special are ones that feel, I don't know, they give me chills. They, um, they uh, feel like real artists to me. They feel like they have beautiful tone and, and, um, and also precision and control. Um, I listen for all of those things and I turn around when I get excited. We have a really good rapport between the three of us, Blake, Kelly, and me. Uh, we've been together for a, a couple seasons now, and uh, we make each other laugh. We pick on each other. We try to block each other occasionally. We, uh, we fight a little bit, but it's all in good fun. I get to sit next to Blake, and uh, he makes me chuckle a lot. He's very funny, very charming. Um, he also lies a lot, um, not necessarily to me, but definitely to the artist when he's pitching them. Um, you know, I've gotten used to it, though, and uh, I try to warn them, you know. I try to warn them that he's a liar, but a lot of times the kids, they don't understand. And they still pick him. I don't know what, it's, I don't know what it is. Kelly is, she's just lovely. Uh, Obviously, we always talk about how chatty she is, and she does like to talk, but she has so many great ideas. She understands how to be a great coach, and uh, she's obviously a really, really great singer. I want to win. I want to win again. Um, I love uh, working with talented artists. I love mentoring them. I love uh, being surprised by them, and uh, I'm excited for whatever surprises this year is going to bring. This is America's favorite singing competition. I think part of it is the blind audition. I think people really love the concept of just listening to someone sing and being moved by that and turning around for them. And then I think uh, they enjoy seeing the coaches battle against each other for other artists and, and uh, you know, the repartee we have between the coaches I think is a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun for us and I think it's a lot of fun for America to watch.